Hello everyone, this is uh, Abro Das, the Senior Manager at the Film Critics Guild and welcome to the Film Critics Guild uh, weekly movie review discussions. Film Critics Guild or FCG is the only registered body of uh, film critics uh, from all across India. Currently, we have 50 uh, critics who are members and today we have uh, two of our members, Anuj Kumar and Sanyukta Thakre. Anuj has been an author and uh, he writes uh, movie reviews regularly for The Hindu. He's uh, Delhi-based. And Sanyukta is Mumbai-based. Sanyukta writes for The Mashable. And both of them are going to discuss the week that was. Over to both of you. Hello, I'm uh, Sanyukta. I write for Mashable India. And uh, this week, we are going to be discussing mainly Hindi releases. Uh, and we have had three so far. One is Yodha. Second is uh, Bastar and third is an OTT release, which is Murder Mubarak. Anuji, would you like to start with uh, Yodha or Bastar? Yeah, hi, I'm Anuj Kumar. I write uh, for the Hindu and uh, today we are talking about uh, Yodha first. Uh, so um, it's uh, kind of it um, for quite some time, we are having these kind of uh, aerial action releases. Uh, we had run with 34, Tejas, Fighter, and more recently, Operation Valentine. So Yodha is kind of a continuation with this. I think like the government is opening up aviation industry for the common man. We, the, these filmmakers are also, uh, also kind of taking a cue from this and, and making these kind of... Uh, uh, action adventure in the skies. Uh, but once again, I, find, I think that uh, the film is hit by air pockets quite frequently, and uh, um, I had a quite a kind of a kind of a, a more of a turbulent experience while while, while watching it. Uh, I guess the stunts were impressive, and but the emotional core, the script is quite stunted. Uh, and it's the same old story of a hero in uniform who doesn't follow the command and how he kind of uh, demolishes some rogue elements with vested interests who want to derail the India-Pakistan peace process. We have seen different variations of it in the last few months, and there is no kind of uh, novelty in in, in this. Uh, he, the uh, the film is also has that kind of thing that that male savior kind of uh, template. Uh, it, he the the guy is uh, surrounded by a lot of interesting female characters, but it feels uh, uh, formulaic. It it doesn't feel anything no, anything no kind of no novelty in this that that you what you see, and uh, uh, Siddharth Malhotra is not bad, and and he has tried to keep it afloat and. Uh, he moves with a lot of purpose on the screen and he has a great skin presence for the youth. And for a change, we have a um, kind of a young action hero, which is missing. It's not that. And he doesn't uh, kind of uh, like to go deliberately bare chested like our, our some older action heroes like to do. Uh, so that way he's good and he's agile, looks the part and all that. Um, but the script is... Um, Kind of too much technicalities into it, and I think they have done a lot, lot of research work on how an air, airplane flies, but uh, it, it doesn't keep us engaged. Uh, kind of, and the the, the surprise element is uh, uh, is uh, such that they hold on to it so so kind of uh, strongly that uh, the middle portion goes haywire. Hey, hey you even if you are holding on to something. You should not kind of create a situation where those portions are not interesting or engaging the audience. So that way you leave the film midway. And when the action picks up and in the second half and things go a little better, it's hard to join back. Once you log out emotionally from there, it's difficult to, to kind of join it back. So that those are some of the flaws uh, in the film. And... Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. The, uh, apart from Siddharth, the other characters, particularly Disha's character, has not been kind of etched out well. Uh, she's pretty expressionless through the film. 
even if she's a surprise factor, uh, one should not go expressionless to hold on to something. You have to keep it in interesting while doing it. The other film of the uh, week, like Murder Mubarak, gets it right. That even if you are holding on to a secret, uh, those portions should be as interesting as the others are. So that way, the writing kind of lacks some punch and the intrigue is uh, fails to envelop us. We not uh, we are not kind of uh, kind of holding on to the film that okay what's next that kind of feeling doesn't come and we hardly come onto that uh, edge uh, that such films require. Uh, so that's pretty much there. If you want to add something to it, I found Rashi quite interesting. She she has played a part sincerely. But it was written like that. We have seen such characters many times before now, and they try to present it as a as a very kind of a new thing that they have tried to do. But uh, so the entire feeling is kind of a deja vu that that you have seen it recently in quite a few films, and so uh, that's it. And the India Pakistan thing has been done to death now. That how people are kind of sabotaging it and. In, in fact, the way here the political leadership is shown, they have taken a lot of liberty, which was not there in the previous films. I guess when it comes to the kind of contemporary thing, they they uh, do it quite uh, quite kind of uh, in, in a different manner. They don't take that kind of liberty, but when it is before 2014 era or something, mm -hmm. they go easy with it and do like they used to do. That kind of thing is, is there, so uh, so it's uh, maybe it might work for a certain audience, but uh, for us who watch the film every week, so <laughs> it doesn't. And uh, it gives an impression that the, that it's for an OTT platform, so they have to keep that library stocked. So they need different kinds of stuff. So 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 that way, I think that's where it is directed at. So, uh, but a disappointment for Siddharth because he has given his best shot yeah. and it's better than his previous films. Uh, so uh, after Shen uh, Shensha, I guess, it's one of his better performances and he has quite uh, good skin presence and uh, voice quality is very good. So I hope he gets better uh, written characters and better written films, I guess, in, in future. I believe Yoda is supposed to be part of a series. I'm not so mm -hmm. sure if it will continue after this. But yeah. I do agree with a lot of stuff that you said. Uh, the best aspect obviously was the action you know, sequences. Mm -hmm. That is like the main part about the movie anyways. And Disha was like, first half though, Disha was very like stoic. Like she wouldn't do anything. I think she was just trying to seem normal like you know not to give away the fact that she is this is a spoiler but like not to give away the fact that she is like on the other side but that just made it worse like the more she didn't act the more it was obvious that she is you know trying to hide something so all the twists were like seen a mile away like I could like 20 minutes in and the whole story was like right there so the first half, they really tried to, you know, hone in on the thrill and the suspense of is he the good guy or the bad guy? But since, like you said, the writing wasn't that sharp, it didn't work out. The second half mainly is like based on the action and really how Siddharth portrays his character. So the second half works out. But since the first half isn't that good, the whole experience just kind of, you know, ruins it I am like I really loved Siddharth Malhotra in several like movies uh Sher Shah and then I am a fan of his work uh, specifically because of Ek Villain and a lot of that aspects were also possible in this like given the performance except the emotional part which didn't work again but he had kind of good chemistry with Rashi as well for the romance which you know, kind of, we have seen him do, like, in the last couple of movies, even Mission Majnu. So that was an OTT release. And similar to Mission Majnu, this also could have worked as an OTT release if you leave out the aerial action. Like, you know, the part where the plane kind of really goes all the way and then you see them 
act out like how it would be if the plane is actually flying that was interesting to see we haven't seen a lot of that but again like the whole india pakistan has been done for years now they are trying this new angle where like some part of pakistan is bad like but the army of india and pakistan wants to work together but that has also been done like in tiger and tiger 3 and all so it just at this point the filmmakers really need to come up with something better for the audience to feel like yes this is an actual good action movie or a patriotic movie it can be enjoyed by certain people who are like fan of siddharth malhotra or really really love action or are into the whole aerial action in recent months but overall yodha is just a one time watch that you can just see or not, like even skip it won't you are not missing anything if you skip this movie that that should be fine should we move on to the second movie yeah we can uh, we can move to murder mubarak that's, that's... i think you should like talk about bastar first and then we can you know finish murder mubarak okay so um, uh, bastar the naxal story is has come from the makers of uh, the kerala story and it's uh, more or less the same template uh, only the villain has changed and in those uh, um, in the kerala story it was about the uh, those um, islamic state uh, working to convert gullible indian girls to to islam and use them as a kind of a fodder for their their, their war in, uh, in 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 syria uh, here uh, the focus is on maoist insurgency and how the left liberals and and the whole ecosystem that uh, uh, this present uh, dispensation talks about is helping uh, in kind of uh, sustaining the maoist uh, so called maoist uh, insurgency in bastar and uh, areas of uh, andhra bordering andhra Ma- maharashtra and uh, chatisgarh and and jharkhand so it's a, a topic that needs to be dealt with and it's a topic that needs to be addressed but the way it is been done is kind of very uh, kind of a sledge hammer kind of approach where there is uh, a deliberate scenes of violence to evoke uh, emotions and uh, uh, there is no kind of uh, research or that kind of research uh, where you have uh, Uh, multiple points of view you know where the film is where the 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 heart of the the uh, uh, filmmaker is and what he wants to achieve and it's more like an agenda for uh, the uh, to kind of create uh, uh, doubts in the mind of the public about uh, a, part- a certain ideology a certain group of people so that's it and uh, so it's in that sense it is very manipulative and uh, though the disclaimer says uh, that uh, the makers uh, kind of respect um, all the ideologies and they are, uh, but uh, the, what we watch doesn't kind of live up to that kind of promise it's uh, it's uh, it's one sided and you can see it's deliberately one sided so that way and uh, what the film is that what they want to say they can't kind of create a kind of a story and characters around it to make a convincing argument what happens is that after every few minutes the story doesn't move so when the story doesn't move a character starts kind of lecturing the audience on 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 what the problem is so that way a story line should not move that you should say it through characters it should not that you are you start speaking like this that that uh, it's a kind of a lecture on 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 what is the problem and all that so that doesn't work it seems like you have come to a, a kind of a rally or a kind of this thing that that where the things are like this is a set and a lot of things which are seen in on those whatsapp groups those casual chats make it to the uh, make it to the kind of film script and storyline so that kind of uh, we have seen this kind of uh, this kind of cinema for some time now and it's kind of a continuation on that so uh, it's like a kind of working a filmmaker working like an influencer or 
and who is uh, trying to kind of influence the electorate before the election comes. So like this is something that is happening and you should keep in mind before going to vote. So that's it. But uh, as a freedom of speech part, everybody has this right to make this kind of film. But uh, as a cinematic experience, it didn't work for me. And, uh, and that's it. And and performance wise also, Ada is not uh, kind of a, she, it's a kind of a very one note kind of character and, and she overdoes it and, uh, but uh, the whole film is like that. So we can't kind of, can't kind of blame her particularly that how she is. The whole tonality of the film is such that uh, it's shrill and, uh, and strident tone has been kind of struck through the film. So, so that's it. Uh, That's pretty much. So I wouldn't count on watching that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, no, there are people who who kind of who are already kind of who have already bought this idea that this is right. this is how how it works. So those people can can feel vindicated after watching the film. Okay, this we thought in our kind of drawing room, uh, mm -hmm. thinking about it, and now somebody has shown it. So that kind of thing that what you get in your WhatsApp forwards, if somebody uh, kind of picturizes it and gives it to you, so you will feel, uh, see what we, what we feel is right. So that kind of effort has been made rather than taking a kind of a well-rounded view of the problem where there are different stakeholders. It's more of a blame game that you didn't do this and, and, and that's why the situation has reached such a pass. So, uh, uh, there are problems from, from 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 all sides. So you take a kind of that kind of view that 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 uh, that um, you can't kind of indulge in this kind of uh, this uh, one-sided kind of. Uh, and right, then right. even if you are going one-sided, cinematically it should work. You should hold on to your interest. It's like it's not working that way. So. Uh, like in Article C seventy also. The, the, uh, that's also a kind of a narrative which 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 was one sided kind of thing on Kashmir, but yeah. it was uh, better made and 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 there was some uh, kind of moments where you you could watch it as an as an adventure as, as in a kind of an action thriller kind of uh, film even if you don't agree with the ideology of the film but you can watch it as an action film and the performances were were were, were quite good so so. So no problems with the agenda, but but uh, a film should be kind of made well. Yes. Actually, that was my initial thought when I was watching 370 as well, that, uh, you know, it looks good for a movie. So you can, you know, just forget the agenda part for a minute and, you know, yeah. feel like and this is fictional. Yes, yes. But then that movie also in the second half, the agenda was way too... Uh, on the nose, so I could <laughs> yeah. let that go. Uh, when it comes on the surface, then, then, then. Yeah, yeah. It, it loses that kind of fun and, and you become detached with the story. So, so. Yeah. Uh, here it is not, not happening. Like they, they, they have raised important issues like, like who benefits from the, uh, the funds that the states get, these disturbed states get, who benefits from this? So th these are important questions. But but there are too many stakeholders here, and it doesn't. It's how this machinery works has to be kind of. You can't blame one thing and then then start going on and on on, on this, and uh, to give kind of uh, this kind of blanket acceptance of using the bullet uh, to the uh, to the uh, kind of the security apparatus and not find out where they are lacking. Is is something that needs to be questioned. So so, and it's dangerous also in, in the long run that you can't put also one citizen against another citizen. So the film kind of suggests like that that why it defends Salva Jodum, which was a kind of a controversial uh, organization, um, and right. the Supreme Court passed a judgment on on that. So it even questions that that why did it. Why, why did the judiciary kind of, uh, and judiciary is also influenced by, judiciary has said over a period of years that we are not influenced by what is written in the media or mm -hmm. what some activists are saying. So you should have faith in the judiciary at least. So so that way it becomes um, very, 
dangerous uh, to say that 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 Salva Judum was doing the right thing. Uh, it, it might be getting some of the things right, but but to give this kind of blanket permission to 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 put to arm citizens against citizens and not to have a dialogue with them. So a character says that I don't like people who explain. <laughs> so I don't like people uh, who uh, look for excuses. So so in a democracy, explanation, looking for a way out, these are all parts of part of to make a democracy run. Right. So so you can't bring democracy through bullet. So 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 uh, uh, and. If you say so, say it in a very layered fashion. It's not that you. So that's the that's the pretty much the, the kind of the problem I had with the film. Uh, but again, I'm saying that those who have bought this idea and 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 they might love it. So so, and I could see that in the in the theater as well. Right? Even yeah, so, so, so it might work for them. For a niche audience, you would say. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But... <laughs> okay, then should we move on to the third uh, movie? Yeah, Madam Park, you start. Yeah. Um. So surprisingly, I actually had fun watching this movie. I'll I'll be honest. I started watching it very passively, like it was just playing in the background. But the minute, like ten twenty minutes in. I was like, okay, maybe they do have something to offer. Like, obviously, the star cast is really, really, you know, well-known people are in there. And you expect, when you see such a big star cast with big names, you kind of end up expecting like, okay, there is there could be something here. But uh, this is completely opposite to me as compared to Yoda. I actually liked the writing and not the performances so much. When it came to uh, this movie, because except Pankaj Sapati, he was like really good top to end. He he knows what he's doing and he always gets it right. Like it's a similar tone when he's performing, but you are so comfortable with it. It's fine. When he does it, it's like this is perfect. But everybody else, see, this feels like, you know, a chain of movies that has been done in the recent years. There was Niyat and there was a lot of Hollywood movies also with the same who done it narrative. And we have especially seen this specific where there are like rich people who are, you know, trying to, they have secrets and trying to get away with things and then somebody dies in their own uh, family or their own community and there is a cop who comes to solve the case and then all the secrets come out. So this is just seen like we have seen it for a couple of months already several times and not all of them have worked but in this movie the writing is actually good and the twist comes very surprisingly at least for me it was a surprise like I was I was literally suspecting every character despite you know the overacting in several cases but I was like okay maybe there is something in this movie and there was. So the start is obviously good. The middle kind of drags because at this point they are just trying to, you know, okay, this is the suspect, this is the suspect, this is the suspect, which is acceptable for a whodunit. But the end actually surprised me. At the end of the movie, I was like, fine, okay, this is an actually enjoyable movie for people who love whodunit or murder mysteries. And there is comedy like usual uh, Pankaj Tripathi comedy that comes with his performance which is pleasant to watch and surprisingly there is a lot of satire but it does not land at all when it comes to the movie like that is the only part I hated the most I mean it's way on the nose and there is no comedy that comes with it it's just like this is bad we know this is bad just give us something more to it so I would say this movie was a very, very mix for me. Like at this point, I'm like, do I even like it or hate it? Because the twist was good. The usual base of the characters was good. But the performances for me were bad. So I'm like, if you love writing in a sense of a movie, only then you would enjoy this uh, OTT release. 
and the best thing is that this is not a theatrical release so you don't really have to worry about no if i don't watch it now i'll miss it this is more like a passing by movie you just watch if you have time again if you don't watch it you are not missing anything <laughs> anuji do you want to add something Ah uh, no, I I I quite liked it uh, because the the competition was uh, so kind of there's no competition this week, so this is uh, 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 the better film of the week, and uh, the writing you said is uh, right. The writing is very good because and uh, largely because it has come from a uh, literary source from 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 uh, from Anuja Chauhan's novel. Yes, yes. So so writing has and it is one of the better crafted films of Homing, I, I guess. And the way he has placed the red herrings now all through, so all of them get justice. So so everybody has a backstory and that doesn't drag. So so there are interesting. it bits about about what why somebody behaves like this and and so that keep that kept me engaged all through and the and the dialogues are really nicely written they they, they are subtle not over the top and there is a constant uh, social commentary also also going on so so which is not in your face it is nicely kind of uh, little bits given here and there and then observations it's quite i think it's uh, a very well observed movie uh, for uh, it it doesn't kind of hate the make us hate the rich it gives their point of view as well their insecurities their fears and why they are how they are so so uh, so that kind of particularly the iska's character the way, uh, her background the way, at one point she, i think she says that uh, can't uh, rich people joke so or why don't <laughs> after she makes a very absolutely kind of a classist comment she says something like that so because we start judging rich people so homi makes these kind of movies where there are kind of people who are well endowed when and, and rich but so so their point of view also needs to be heard that are, the lives that they lead so so that way i uh, found it quite balanced and uh, Uh, pankaj is the outsider and and he gives his perspective of of this world yes. so this is an interesting apart from a thriller uh, who who done it and there's an interesting uh, kind of clash between these haves and have nots that how they see their world and how the other side is looking and then we have ranvijay the 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 um, feudal uh, who is also going through a change in these democratic times and the observations he made of the past or the way they used to live and now now how things have changed so it's not kind of and good thing is it doesn't drag it moves on keeps moving it's it's a pacey kind of experience that doesn't kind of stop and and um, the middle portion also you you usually drag that that you keep on doing the same thing here it keeps a pretty kind of nimble that it's uh, keeps moving and um, also But in terms of performances, I think Sara is pretty good. Uh, it is I found uh, one of her better performances, and because she goes a little over the top and does a lot of brings everything on the surface. Here she, I I was kind of afraid that that how she will keep such a character kind of. Uh, but she she uh, I think it's a uh, she has performed really well in this film and uh, uh, and. it's a kind of a very well rounded character and she has to do different things in in, in the film and i think easy on the eye and uh, i had a lot of problems with with the performances in atrangi re and uh, but here she gets the the uh, she gets kind of uh, the depth of the character right and also the, the writing helps because it uh, also deals with this uh, this uh, this generation's problem of uh, the difference between marriage and love so so that discussion is also important so that's i'm saying the social commentary is also very strong those new dilemmas of the, of the generation that that well, how it is how uh, marriage can be different from love and love love is a, uh, is a different thing so those uh, for an um, uh, i think that was an interesting insight uh, the film gives an interesting insight without being kind of preachy or uh, making it over the top or uh, doing a lot of uh, like previous film like niyat was not doing something like this uh, niyat uh, was a disappointment so that way it is it's a it's a better crafted film 
yeah uh, for uh, obviously for a kind of an ott audience it's it's not that kind of a, a mass film but but i guess it works pretty fine and and, and uh, uh, after a while uh, uh, tripathi ji has also got a kind of some some kind of a, a challenging character and people were thinking why is what is doing in a kind of a rich man's word but he he adjusts uh, nicely and his uh, interventions uh, bring out uh, certain kind of uh, takes us to the certain nooks and corners of 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 this this space so uh, for me overall it was there are Uh, there are kind of instances like you said that there is a certain kind of uh, the over the top or you the say, say the the broad strokes are there somewhere but but overall i think that that uh, it is is uh, i think it's it works fine sara yeah, actually is, mm-hmm. stood out like i didn't like sara's character uh, performance mm-hmm. that much because she mainly had like scenes with pankaj tripathi and vijay varma so like mm-hmm. they are really good actors and like with them her chemistry like didn't really work for me because i like like you said her previous performance ha- haven't been that great so but when you are with those people like who are really good at no matter what mm. kind of role they are playing mm. she stood out like a sore thumb to me okay. like with mm. them at least she should have like you know how you uh, react to the actor that is in front of you when you are acting like in that sense i expected her to be a little you know somber because her character goes through a lot like the death of her husband and like obviously i won't reveal yeah. <laughs> the death mm-hmm. of her husband and then you know a friend that she has loved for so long but hasn't been with marrying huh. for society you know she's been through a lot but still she had that a little bit of you know uh, maybe we can you know let it go saying that okay that's the complexity of her character yes yes yeah that's i'm saying yeah. that the complexity was such that and what we get uh, we get our answers towards the end that why she was uh, like that so that way she gets it and and uh, the good part was was that she was uh, she was constantly giving us hints that 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 there is more she has worked well with homi in in that sense that that she keeps on giving us little hints while holding on to that facade of of her bubbliness or chirpiness and then that way it's a, i found it is a, it's a kind of a, fun watch good experience to watch uh, to to watch her and uh, uh, in contrast i think vijay was a little off key here he he was always ha huh, he is always uh, um, uh, good to watch uh, and even he makes in and characters look kab kab alive but here i think he was a bit off key pankaj ji was spot on and 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 he was yeah, he got it uh, perfectly the the, the sur of the character uh, is, and i think the uh, it's and sara gives him good 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 competition i guess in that sense sense um, and how the things come around uh, kind of uh, the, the, when you join the dots you get it that 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 what it's like so which is i was like needs... really satisfied with the end and i was like okay this works <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes yes absolutely yeah. and i think audience will also feel feel like that 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 uh, the effort was worth it yeah like if they manage to stick through like in theater you have to like sit and watch the whole thing so you don't mm. have an option but like usually what people do is they watch and they don't like it in the first 20 minutes they are like theek hai jaan do Mm-hmm. so if they stick through this movie then they'll have a good time like if they give up then yeah they won't yes. like it so mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. even dimple ji's character the, the the way she has the her introduction scene and 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 things like that and they get the lingo the thought everything particularly uh, i will again uh, kind of repeat uh, tiska character is 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 nicely written and and um, and you 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 kind of when you start feeling that you have seen people like this so 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 that kind of um, uh, effort has been made and i guess it's uh, the kind of stuff that we are getting these days uh, it's uh, kind of a 
a very uh, I, I would say it's a very good book adaptation we don't get yes, that haan, very haan, often haan. yeah and so anuja has managed. suffered uh, yeah. Anuja has particularly suffered in the past by those shallow. See, shallow, what we say, the shallow word, need not be interpreted in, in a shallow manner. That's what this film achieves, that it talks about a shallow word, shallow people, and, and but the the kind of the, the, the their presentation is, is, is not shallow. The way yeah. they bring it out of this of the of their space is not shallow. It has uh, plenty of depth and 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 uh, it gives us insight that people who behave like that, why do they behave like that? What are the fears they have? What are the insecurities they have? And you should not, you should not kind of um, uh, judge them in 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 that sense. So a lot of of films judge uh, the characters that they are writing. Right, right. There right, is right. a film that is not judging its own characters, and that's what Anuja does well. So, uh, so that way, uh, I think it 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 works. People who like to like see bo good book adaptations, I would they, yes, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah they'll yes. also enjoy this one because they'll obviously stick through the whole thing, and at the end they'll be like, yeah, okay, this this was a good watch. Yeah, yeah, good good kind of cinematic interpretation of a of a pulp fiction, <laughs> that kind. Of, uh, Okay. There are a couple of uh, like K-dramas also that come out weekly and as a K-drama fan, I have to mention them as well. Uh, one is uh, Queen of Tears. I have been watching it and I am loving the chemistry between the main leads and the kind of story uh, they are moving forward with. We haven't seen uh, the gender reverse of a really rich uh, heiress who marries a small town guy. And I think that is very fresh, though it also has a cute connection to reality with the Samsung heiress. So it makes for a very fun watch. The romance is good and the writing is good as well. Another release this week in K-drama is actually Chicken Nugget. And it's the most bizarre story where one of the leads gets turned into a little chicken nugget. And then her love interest and her father has to try and find a way to bring her back to being human. It's the most bizarre. And I think in K-dramas, we expect the most bizarre to work out somehow in the perfect manner. And this works. Once again, this works somehow. It's comic and great performances. It somehow works. This is one of the best releases in K-drama this week. And if you're looking for like a weekly watch, I would suggest uh, Queen of Tears and Chicken Nugget. It's like completely opposite on the spectrum. Like one is drama and the other is comic. And if you are into either of them, they are a great watch this week. Thank you so much, Anuj and Sayukta, for such a wonderful conversation about the movies. And do stay tuned with all of us. Next week, we'll be back with two other FCG members and more movie recommendations. Thank you.